be. I think that's awesome. Yeah. And it's going to be yeah. like black on the outside with big red lettering. I mean, yeah. you won't be able to miss it. Right. Um, I'm so excited about that. Yep. And have you been to other markets like that? I just been to the one in Flint, but also Portland. And, you know... Flint's really nice, but this one's going to be way better. Yeah, really, <laughs> it's cool. It's gonna have, like, you know, there's one. That, there was shops. one in Columbus and one in Cleveland. Have Where you been to we? either one of those? It's no. um, I well, I've been to you know, like I said, in Portland and in other big city like Paris, France. You know, I've been to big markets like and this. they're and cool. It, yeah. Toronto. I think it's actually probably going to be kind of like a smaller Toronto. One. Oh, how yeah. exciting! Oh, that's that's I mean, how it's going to have restaurants. Um, we're going to have a demonstration kitchen. That, gonna oh, you're going to just go crazy in that, aren't you? And, and everyone, you know, has access to that. So there'll be lots of little cooking demonstrations. So you we can, can go have, film some of those even. I know. You could come in and have coffee and pick out, you know, different groceries. There's a fishmonger, cheesemonger, a produce, bakeries, restaurants, sushi. And then Is there there's going to also be... Well, there'll be there a prob- yes, there's a couple okay. wineries there, and then ah, there's going to be like this it. children's area and teen area where they can go and just hang out. No, oh, I like that. And it's so air much. conditioned, so think of the summer. You're downtown, yeah. basically, you can go in there and just hang. Right. It's like a mall, but it's I'm like really looking there. forward. I was at to this it. market yeah. down in Grand Rapids, and it, the best part about it was like right. I'm walking around. The day. outdoor one or the inside? The outdoor, one? and yeah, they had they had that. an omelet man. Yeah, like literally, like you went and like I was, you know, I was getting some cheese or whatever, and I could have ordered his oh. stuff, but I had my che- like this cheese that I wanted or whatever, and I mean, and I go, I yeah, I go, can Rampage. I have a cheese omelet? And he said, sure. So he took my cheese, cut it up, oh. the cheese that I bought. You know, and he goes, it'll be about 15 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, that's all right. I'm outside. I'm in a market. You're going to make me a fresh omelet. And I'm not in a restaurant. And right. it's not on a grill or whatever. I was like, so I felt like I was really fancy. Yeah. And, I, are, and I walked around and like I could have sat down. And I'm like, no, I'm okay walking through the market right. eating this fresh I love omelet. Grand it was, Rapids. Yeah, it, it was so really cool. Yeah. It was like refreshing, and I felt that's what we yeah. Bay City's gonna yeah. have now. You know? I love yeah. that we're gonna have that. It's, I'm, a, I'm it's real gonna be a foodie paradise, yeah. basically. And I don't even like the word foodie, but you do know we, what I mean. Do we have? Is there? Um, I know you probably can't answer this, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Is like the cost of items that will be in there kind of worries me a little bit. It'll it, be competitive, you with, know, because I know, like, and I know cheese is expensive, and I know wine is expensive and stuff like that. But I'm hoping that the people be, do not have to pay as much as if they had a, a shop in right. town. So right, like, that you know, will help. Well, keep it, it, oh, that's right. a good, yeah, point. it is. That's a good way to put it because I know our demographics in Bay City are very, you know, we're lower income pretty much, you know, and stuff like right. that. And so I want. So I'm I hoping like all of this, yeah, can experience it. That's what I mean. Yeah, get right. you experience it as opposed to going. Oh no, I can't take my, my kids there because all the muffins are four dollars. Because people yeah. don't you know, buy yeah. chocolate every yeah. day; they don't buy a fancy right. pastry yeah. for themselves every day. So my product's a little different, anyhow. Yes. But there are people that are doing like they might have a shop somewhere in town, but they're doing a pilot booth, right? So it's just to right. get people to know about their products. Yeah, okay. But there's also, you know, yeah. th- that's the whole thing. They they've kept the cost down. Yeah pretty low for vendors yes good good just to help yeah. encourage because i want to, yeah you know, I, I, well and i want parents to be able to, like i says take their kids like you says and enjoy the kids zone and sit down and have a cup of coffee and it's not i love right. you know and, and i want to be able, able to grand to, rapids yes, it's similar yes. to grand rapids flint's got yes, the same thing yes. it's i want and i'm so nice. looking forward to it i want to walk over there at yeah. lunchtime mm-hmm. yes and just yeah. pick out different things or say hey i'll meet you Right, meet you there for lunch. Yeah, and I, well, just I getting to know where your produce, where mm-hmm. your meat. You know, Goss right. Farms is going to be there selling right. lamb. I know that's not really oh, big really? around here, yes, but, but yeah, but still you know. knowing where it comes from, so, is a right? Big thing knowing for the farmers, well, asking and, all the questions you want yes. to ask them. And is it seven and days a one week? The, it's five days. Five. A week. And so that's one of the big Saturday? things about um, okay. our friends at Third and Johnson too. Mm-hmm. You know, they know the sources of all of right. their right. produce. And they have the goss lamb right. mm-hmm. there. And mm, and you, I think I'm going to go get that for Easter, actually. You know, yeah, and, and I don't so know good. all of it's Europe, so but like when you're in restaurants like in Italy and stuff like that, their menu isn't like a big, giant, vast no, menu. No, it's three I mean, things. It, it is. Like they have pastas and different sauces, but at the same time, their feature could be large, beef and that's it. The larger it. the menu, the right. more worrisome to yeah, me. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> you know, and it's just almost you know, like there's, this market I is loved it that in, smaller I, um, and it, when I was in Italy, they they gave you when you walked in, they put a pitcher of wine on the table, yeah, yeah. and then they brought you a big thing of seafood. You didn't order it, right? It's, it's just, just what you got, yeah, yep. And and then you ordered what kind of pasta you yeah. wanted. Yeah, it was yeah, it was just yeah. limited. And that's I like that. Like, I, that's of the a kind of restaurant I'd have. I hope yeah. that 
I don't know if there's anyone making fresh pasta, but that would be That's the nice. kind of oh. restaurant I want to have. I, I have always longed for a restaurant <laughs> We like need that. that. We yes. should at least get yes. some of the produce people that are like, let's con- right. you know, combine right. forces and, and do a pasta night. Like yeah. And you days. could do it. And, and fresh pasta doesn't keep. So if it was fresh pasta yeah. th- 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 Thursday, people would come out. down. People That's right. People yeah. would come down and know that I can get fresh pasta noodles on Thursday. And they're go- it's usually gone by fours. But you start to plan your menu accordingly. Yeah. And right. It keeps those Well, and again, Third and Johnson. Yes, I know. Oh, I have to go Gordon there. Johnson, you they have um take and bake. <laughs> Oh, that's and right. And you can very, call and see what the take idea. and bake yes. is. And Say, I want it for two or three yeah. or whatever. Pick it up, take it home. Ba- I'm telling you, it is wonderful. Mm-hmm. Do you, um, I wonder if they'll do anything like the Hello Fresh. You know how that is the hot It's thing. very similar to that. You know, like the Third and Johnson's doing and stuff like that. You know like what? That. So you can That order. was my idea five years ago. Hello Fresh. I love it. I've Except done it, it was called the. It was called the girls. I wanted to okay. name it the girls. There was one in Midland. The, the, what, before I moved to Oregon like yeah. eight years ago that she was people come in and they would make all their food for the week yes they. I think she's still there See, the, menu manager. the menu manager but yeah she is still there but like like what, I, what I, I've had HelloFresh come one time and absolutely loved it so you kind of go on it the internet, you know, you go on their site and you choose because I'm not a fish lover is that like I don't, Blue Apron or yes, something yes and I don't yeah. eat fish but they bring it and it's so nice because it's like First of all, you eat the right portion size for who you should and not what America decides you should. And so that's nice. And it's filling. So it's not like you're starving. But and you it's get, delicious. You get those crazy spices. Like, I don't even know what's saffron. Is that a saffron? saffron yeah. I don't even know what it is. And that's a so expensive spice. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, but, little teeny pieces of the crocus in the center. Right. Yeah. Right. But no, but so it'll call for that. And I'm like, if I see that on a menu, I'm like, I don't even know what that is. But anyway, so, but they'll, they'll have them all mixed so you can have this. Right. And you sit down and you're looking almost like at this gourmet meal and oh, it's yeah. pretty easy to prepare it it was very fun and very nice and in a restaurant and, it would have cost you three times right and it got me to explore like you know and expand my taste I think, and stuff I, that's like why that, i like just, teaching yeah, cook, yeah. cooking right. classes because there's some things yeah. that you won't even just teaching the french class coco van or or yes. it sounds like it's going to be hard all right. these things are basic easy recipes and it's like once you know how to do this you can experiment right. and change it and find the ingredients and yeah you know yeah. for me to yeah. buy a, a little jar of saffron is almost 20 dollars. right you don't I need buy that it. much so how, right how long will it right. take you to use that right little jar. it will take me forever and what if i don't like the recipe so then i go screw it i'm not right. buying saffron i'll just use pepper well yeah. that's right. the recipe so same get, with truffle all the, all yeah. the people oh, yes all the people yeah. at the the pro you know you could come in and learn how to use their product you know, once you feel comfortable going, you know, watching the free cooking, because most mm-hmm. of them are going to be free, free cooking. Now we get to taste it. Then you'll know how to use right. those, those yeah. foods. Yeah, that's really going to yeah. be fun that to is. look forward yeah. to. In the meantime, how can we find you? What What's coming yeah. up for you? Well, my Facebook, I think I update that way more. I need okay. to get better about updating my, my website. But um, if you look up Artisan, it's Art is Anne with an E. Chocolate oh, here. A N N E. Yeah. Oh, I so like it. Artisan chocolate here is not going to say and it. Art is Anne. Artisan. They call you Artisan Anne. Anne. Uh, I've, I've, I everybody okay. calls her that. Oh, yeah. so I will find or you. look up Anne Boule okay. on Facebook. But that Facebook's the biggest. One. Instagram. I'm also posting every other day at least. Awesome. Um, yes, yeah, that's yeah. that's the best way to find me. Very that's good. So cool. And you're doing a workshop for us on April 22nd. April 22nd. And I can't remember what time we were going to start that. 1030, I think. <laughs> 1030, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. And I'm doing different that's ones here and there. Yeah. So, you know, okay. it's a good cool. way to learn. And you, actually, I've had most people just come to have fun, just like a wine and paint party. They come to make chocolate, you know. Right. But then every now and then somebody wants to learn more about chocolate making. And I've had three people two in Oregon and one in Michigan that have become chocolatiers. Seeing that something. They just, they just, they learned enough to, to know, yeah, right. this is where I want to, I want to do this. And there's yeah. plenty of room. And you bring everything. And I so all everything. you have to do is show up, yeah. which yeah. is You can really learn fun. a little bit about chocolate tempering and stuff, mm-hmm. but you don't have to, you know, it's, I feel, I feel more like I'm a facilitator to creativity. Like here's all oh, the that's tools. A good way of here's right. all the stuff yeah. that you need and here's how to work have it. Have at it. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very good. Okay, yeah. so so Facebook. Look for you on Facebook. Artisan um, with to an sign name. up for um, the chocolate workshop on April twenty second. You can call at the studio or send us a message or look us up on Facebook and say that you want to take part. Um, awesome. 
The number is 419-366-8091. Bye, Juliana. Bye, Juliana. You have a lot going on here at the station. Yeah. You really do. I mean, Good. I, I, and it, hopefully yeah. more and more. Yeah. As, yeah. I love that you do a jur- journaling class. I know I blew in you. one day. To ju- pause. I just upset the whole journal process. <laughs> Typically what I do, I blew in like the way and I went, oh, sorry, drop something off for Deb or whatever. But I, I do. I love journaling. So when I see people doing journaling, it just, it excites We're going to do it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to, um, I'm going to um, do a couple couple more journaling classes yeah. and we have a big one coming up on the second weekend in May, second Saturday in May, where yeah. we're going to start with, um, the 13th, 13th. okay, the 31st. <laughs> I was going, what is she doing? That's like, not the second it. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The 13th of May, what it's going, it's. And um, it's going to be an all-day thing. It's going to be beginning journaling in the beginning. Okay. Okay. And then it's going to be creative journaling in the afternoon. Oh, awesome. So awesome. I think that's going to be really yeah. fun. I love it. I love it. And then we have a psychic thing coming up oh, yeah. the first weekend in yes. May, the yeah. 6th. Very cool. So, But you we have a lot busy. of things coming up. So, yeah. so you are... Um, you work for Shelter House. I do. And I do. because it's yeah. Sexual Assault Awareness Month, yes. we did a four-part oh, series. We did. And um, those are playing right now. They're also so going to be playing starting this Friday at 8, 2, and 8. Yep. Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Saturday, Saturday yep. throughout the month yep. of April. Yeah. And... Um, it's yeah. not. I can. I'm going to program it in tomorrow. Thank so you. So it'll probably start tomorrow. At okay. Two. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was. It was. Uh, I wasn't yeah. sure of the time. So. It was awesome. It was um, awesome. really, really good. Yeah. It was. It was very fun. It was good talking about it. And um, I am very, very grateful to you, Deb. I truly oh, am. It's something you. as uh, working for Shelter House. It's nothing we could have afforded to do, and it's. A, it gave us a voice. Oh, I thank you to get it out to more people. And and, and I love the fact that it's recorded because we're going to use it for training purposes. Excellent. So that, you know, like they can, you know, our staff and volunteers can start to learn more, but then write down questions and ask the experts as we're there or whatever and stuff like that. So it's, it's very cool. I mean, um, I'll tell you the district attorney. Yeah. JD. Yeah. The prosecuting attorney. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. He was prosecuting amazing. Attorney. Yep. Yeah. He was, uh, he, yeah. he was only supposed to stay for one, one of the shows Chose, and he yeah. ended up staying for two. The full, yeah. The full two hours. Yeah. And please tell him if you talk to him yeah, that he did a fantastic I will. job. I will. He was very excited when we, we uh, had this big idea, me and Deb, again, uh, we put our heads together. I goes, all right, let me see. And I went back to work. And I'm very excited. I love new anywhere I have a platform. And I love helping. Yeah. And it, and it just worked out really good. And then with the talking to uh, the prosecutor's office, they said, yeah, they're in. I mean, I was like not stunned. I, I've met JD a couple of times, but that's not my role at work. So I've not worked alongside of him, but to see the passion he has and how long he has Absolutely been prosecuting right. sexual yep. assault cases and, and what he's his, seen. the vast yes. knowledge oh that he God. has yeah. and just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. It was, it was good. So it was, it was four hours. It's, and I just hope it never gets too preachy um, or anything. It doesn't. Good. Thank you. Cause it was, it was very good. And there were some great questions and, uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. We are just we're blessed. We truly are. It's it's a good thing. We're so we are very excited and JD's excited and um good. It's a lot going on and and um I don't know like um everybody I think just saw probably just a few days ago the assault that took place on Facebook that yeah. it was Oh yes. my god, 15 yeah. year old boy. Yeah, videotaped it and stuff like that and it's um you know Horrible, horrible it is. stuff. Yeah. And it just it, I uh, yeah, I I know it's out there and I don't want to ever be naive, but it's just like Jesus. And, and uh, yeah. you know, you, in this four part series answers questions. Yes, it that, does. Yep. Questions that you wouldn't even think to ask or answer. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. And yeah. I've, I've listened to it because I'm here all day. Yeah. And, um, it's, good. it's very powerful stuff. Yeah. yeah. It, and so you definitely yeah, need to listen yeah. to it. And it'll also be downloaded on the website, uploaded onto yes. the website. Yep. 
probably by, I'm guessing by the end of the week, that's kind of out of my hands. But the important thing is that you can hear it. Yes. Yeah. And then we're going to also put it on our website. So it'll get to Shelter House's website, also on our Facebook page. So you just hit, click that link. So lots of options. Yeah. Lots of options, you know, and and that's the best part about this is that you got it for. You have access to to it. it. Yeah. So if you don't have time today, watch it. Daughter that's going away to college, listen to it. You you know, it's. Yeah. Good and stuff. there's uh, more and more being done. Like the, there was a trauma piece, and um, I, I tease Vicky, my coworker, a lot because I have learned so much about trauma. Um, I think I go, I don't want to learn wow, no that more. Was very yeah, interesting. and there was just I, did, I shared it with Deb today on her Facebook page and stuff like that. There was just an article that was released, and there's a study and stuff like that that with our youth, how we've diagnosed them with. 